wealth, power, and influence, J.P. Morgan had it all. In the heart of Wall Street, where fortunes are made and empires are built, one name resonates through the corridors of power, J.P. Morgan. He wasn't just a banker, he was the power broker of American finance. This is the story of J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan & Co. is one of the most storied names in American finance, and its history is a complex tapestry woven from the threads of ambition, innovation, and the tumultuous economic landscape of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The firm's roots can be traced back to the partnership of Drexel & Morgan, established in 1871 by Junius Spencer Morgan, the father of J.P. Morgan, and Anthony Drexel, a prominent Philadelphia banker. John Pierpont Morgan, known universally as J.P. Morgan, took over the firm's New York operations after Drexel's death in 1893. Under his leadership, the bank became a central force in American finance, playing pivotal roles in the formation of several leading U.S. corporations, including U.S. Steel, General Electric, and International Harvester. Morgan's approach to banking and business was characterized by consolidation and centralization, reflecting his belief in the efficiency and stability of large, well-managed enterprises. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were a period of rapid industrialization and economic growth in the United States, and J.P. Morgan & Co. was at the forefront of this transformation. Morgan and his associates orchestrated numerous high-profile corporate reorganizations and consolidations, earning him the nickname, The Banker's Banker. His influence extended beyond the boardroom, as he was often called upon to advise government officials on financial matters, and even played a key role in resolving the financial panic of 1907, effectively serving as the country's de facto central banker until the establishment of the Federal Reserve System in 1913. J.P. Morgan's personal wealth and influence were vast, and his legacy includes not only his contributions to American finance, but also his collection of art and rare books, which laid the foundation for the Pierpont Morgan Library in New York City. Upon his death in 1913, J.P. Morgan left behind a financial empire that would continue to evolve and shape the global financial landscape. After Morgan's death, the firm continued to play a significant role in American finance, advising the U.S. government on financial matters during World War I and the interwar period. The Great Depression and the ensuing passage of the Glass-Steagall Act in 1933, which separated commercial and investment banking, forced J.P. Morgan & Co. to focus exclusively on commercial banking. Despite this change, the firm remained a leading player in the banking industry. The most significant transformation in the history of J.P. Morgan & Co. came at the dawn of the 21st century. In 2000, the firm merged with Chase Manhattan Bank to form J.P. Morgan Chase & Co., one of the largest banking institutions in the world. This merger was emblematic of the consolidation trend that was sweeping the banking industry, as traditional commercial banks, investment banks, and insurance companies sought to diversify their businesses and compete in a rapidly changing financial landscape. The history of J.P. Morgan is a testament to the enduring power of visionary leadership, strategic innovation, and adaptability in the face of change. From its origins in the partnership of Drexel & Morgan, to its current incarnation as J.P. Morgan Chase & Co., the firm has been a pivotal force in the development of the modern financial system, leaving an indelible mark on the world of finance.